In this video, I will show you guys how to design this passive flyer in Corridor. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. Add on the bell icon without any further ado. Let's jump straight to the video. Over here, guys, these are the stock images you'll be making use of. Alright, I'm gonna put the link down below so you can check it out and make use of it. Alright, so over here, guys, this is the um text we'll be making use of. Under this text, I'll put out the names of the fonts which we'll be making use of in this tutorial. Alright. Welcome to Corridor, Draw, guys. So the first thing we're gonna do is import our stock images. Alright, to do that, come over to file. Alright, locate import. Shortcut is control I and um, select all of this. All right, so once you do that, just click on import and uh, place everything you have over here. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll change our units so inches. All right, so the size we'll be making use of is 10 by 10 inches and press enter on your keyboard, and this is what. You are going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is come over to your rectangle tool and um, draw a box. Go back to your page size and change to um, 10 by 10 inches. Then press enter on your keyboard. And as you can see, it's not fitted to frame, guys. What we're going to do is we'll press letter P on your keyboard to make it fit to frame. And this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the black stroke which you had earlier. And uh, to do that, come over here and right click and select um, set out line color. And you can drop your tool using your pick tool. The pick tool in Corner Draw is used to drop any tool you selected initially. If you're confused, check out my beginner's class. You understand why I just said what I said. All right. So going further, what we're going to do is we're going to bring in this background. All right. I'm going to scale this just right here. And once I do that, I'm going to right click and select power tip, then place it into the, the frame. All right. So once you click on power tip, this arrow is going to come up. And once it comes up, just it's just asking you where do you want to place the object to. So just basically click on it and boom, it will take itself into the frame. So so align this frame, um, the background to the frame. You want to right click and select um, edit power clip and it will take it into the frame. So right now you cannot select anything over here, as you can see. So what you want to do is um, place this over here and um, drag this just right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to blur this um, background. All right. So to blur the background, as we normally do, is go to Effects and select um, Blur, Locate Gaussian Blur, and um, you can just leave it at 9.6 pixels, and that is cool. And um, what we're going to do is, um, I want to um, rotate or flip this to the left, all right? I want this part to be on the left, this way, using your mirror tool, just right there, and this is what you are going to have. So the next we're going to do is, we're going to click on Finish, and once we click on Finish, this is what we are going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is, I want to bring in this, all right? This background, and um, right click on it and select um, power tip and place it into this frame. Now, what I'm gonna do is right click and select and it's power tip again and come over, place it just right here. So, right here, we're gonna scale it up. We're gonna scale it up this way, all right? So, once we do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, select my transparency tool, go to my bitmap on my menu bar and select mode, then change it to grayscale, then it's black on white. Now, what we're gonna do is, on our transparency tool, we're gonna fade out this part, just right here, fade it out this way, and go to your make mode and select overlay, or oh, let's try soft light. All right, I think soft light is giving over one, so we're gonna place it just right here, and as you can see, this light, this light, and this light on the background is cool, for the uh, for the design, all right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on finish, and we're gonna leave that to that. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring in uh, my text, and uh, to do that, just come over to your notepad, and you can highlight this and use Control Plus C to copy. Then come over to your correct draw and select your tools tool, and uh, click over here using your mouse. Then press Control Plus V to paste. Now our text is here, we're going to give it the white color so we can see since we're having a black background already. 
And uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to bring in this image. All right. And I'm going to place it just right here. All right. So if you look on the image we had over here, this is the initial image. And I, I took out the background. All right. So we went from this to this. And I explained to you how to take a background in Photoshop or in CorelDRAW. If you don't know how to do that, I have been used where you can learn how to take up background in Photoshop and in CorelDRAW. So let's continue. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to use my shape tool and I'll reduce this. I don't want that to be that. Uh, what we're reducing is because the, this, the frame of the image is too wide and we're having nothing over here. As you can see, it's just plain. So let's just decrease this. Just right there and lift that. That, all right. So this is what we're going to have. So now the next thing we're going to do is, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in this. Using my transparency tool, I'm going to fade out this edge. As you can see, we're having a sharp edge here, which is not cool for the back, uh, for the design. All right. So we're going to fade it into the background using our transparency tool. So I'm going to just drive this way. All right. So if you want to, if you want to get a straight line, you can, if you like, you can just draw this way. It's cool. But sometimes I I hold control, my control key and drag to have a, a straight light. All right, so this is what we're gonna have, guys. So I'm blending this to the background, just right there. And um, we'll leave that to that. All right. So before I actually turn this to grayscale, and um, I turn this to grayscale this way. So I have two options anyway. But we can do that later on. So let's just go back to our initial color. So I use Control Z to undo. What I just did, all right. Control Z to undo, all right. To undo, all right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right take and power tape it into this frame. So why am I power taping into the frame? If you don't power tape, you can see we have some cutouts over here. And I don't advise you to always use your shape to come and be you know sizing it and making it fit into this frame. The best thing to do is just right click and power tape into this frame and leave that to that. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place in this logos. All right, we have two logos to work with. All right, this is the back logo, and we have test colony is um is a collaboration of this two business, right? So I'm gonna just place this one here and leave that just little as it is, and uh, just reduce this. All right, so we'll just place this here. So um the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my freehand to draw a line. All right, between this logos and give it the Let's say 50% gray. Sorry, 50% gray. And uh, that is what we're going to have. We're going to leave that to that. I'm going to copy this text, Friday Night Groove, paste it just right here. So we're going to scale this up. And um, I'm going to use Control plus K on my keyboard to break it apart. All right. So I'm going to just drag this down and um, put a cursor here. Press Enter on my keyboard. And um, use Control Plus K to break it apart again, and this is what we're gonna have basically. All right. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change. Um, I'm gonna change the font. So to change your font. Come over to this and use all bright. Like I said, I have written down all the fonts for you guys. All right. So also this one to all brights. All right. So I'm gonna change this one to uppercase. Shift highlight and use Shift plus um, F3 on your keyboard. Then locate uppercase and click enter on your keyboard. Do same. Um, okay, this one. I think I'll leave that one to just the way it is. I'm on, I'm gonna drag this one down just right here, and um, let's kill this one up just right there. And that we're gonna leave that to that. So this is basically what we're gonna have. So the font I'm gonna use for this one is called Southern something something. All right, this is the font actually, so I'm gonna just leave this one here. And uh, so now, what I'm gonna do is, uh, what I will do is, I'm gonna change the color of this to gold. All right, so I'm gonna drag this right here, drag this way. All right, so once I do that, I'm gonna come over to this node and change this. To, we're not printing this, guys, so we're using RGB. If you're printing, you see NYK, all right? So, I want to just drag this color over here. So I want to do this and give me a darker shape, shape of gold. So I'm going to change this one also to um, to gold. All right. So I'm going to drag this one just right here. 
and give me the lighter gold shade of gold all right so we'll place this one just there and copy this color click and drag just right click and drag to this i don't want to repeat what i did so i'm just you no know, right click on your mouse all right this is your right click when you right click on it then you drag into the next text then once you drag into the next text you're gonna see something like this see all this option copy fill here and to apply the color instead of dragging and dragging and dragging again all right understood yes sir all right so now this is what we're gonna have guys this is what we're gonna have so i want to just i just adjusted adjusted the color so i'm just gonna drag this one here and we're gonna leave that to that now as you can see this font is a bit tricky it's if you zoom out it will be tiny if you zoom in it will be okay so so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to copy this color and place the jewels right in here. And what I'm going to do is select this, select this, give it a white outline. I just want to increase the stroke, the weight of the text. So I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to come over to this, not here. You can use F to work from your keyboard to bring this outline pen um, drop box, all right? I'm going to increase the weight to, let's say, 2. Then change it to change the round corner. Once you do that, bring this one behind. Maybe let's try three. All right, let's just see the weight and let's see the weight. That's too much. That's too much. Let's maintain maybe two. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this, select object on my menu bar, convert outline to object. Once you combine, um, convert outline to object, the outline will turn to everything that won't be edited. You can't edit it, all right? You cannot edit it. It's all, it's, it will move from text to an object. You know, understand what I'm saying? Let's take a look. Convert the shortcut is Control plus um, Shift plus Q, all right? As you can see, all right? This is what you're going to have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight everything and go to my weld and weld it together. Now, do the same to this, convert to object, weld it together. All right, so let's do the same. Highlight, um, select and drag, copy fill here, and use control plus R to copy fill, to repli uh, replicate the color over here. If my en English is correct, that's fine. It's correct. All right, so this is what we are going to have. So I'm going to basically drag this one over here. And we're gonna leave this one here, and um, let's add a bit of uh, color to this. I'm gonna add black. All right, black to this. So just a little bit, not that much, as you can see. So that is what we're gonna have. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is we have our time here. So let me just drag this lady just down there a bit. All right. All right, so this is what we're gonna have. So the date is February um, Friday 10th. So I'm gonna just make this one fry and bring this one down. And I'm gonna change the font of this NGLC. Everybody has this font on their system, all right? If you don't have it, if you don't have it, I'll give you end book club, all right? So if you have it, congratulations, all right? So now I'm gonna change this one to Capton fonts. And once I do that, all right, we're gonna just change this to Capture Font. Use the semi bold, change it to uppercase Shift F3 on your keyboard, and I'm uh, gonna place this one just up there and leave that to that. So we're basically good with that. And let's reduce this and place it just right here. And this is what we're gonna have, guys. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, place it over here. Then I'm going to use um, my rectangle tool and draw a box just here. Remove the outline. All right, so I'm going to um, use my fill tool and give it the color. So I'm going to use um, something light yellow, kind of. You know, yellow is a kind of an attractive color. It's if you want to attract, bring, draw attention, you can use yellow or red. These colors 
speaks volume, right? They attract. So the fact I'll be using for this one is called tactics something something. Yes, tactics something something, yeah. So this is it. So I'm gonna just place this one here and give it a black color. You should page up to bring it forward. Now, if you look, we have commas over here. I don't want these commas to be here. So I'm gonna put highlight this, delete this one, give it a space, then use my what's it called? What's it called? Slash 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 two slash. All right, two slash and two slash. I give that to that. So this is basically what we're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna cut this one. Place it just right here. And once I do that, and I'm gonna use control plus K to bring it apart. I'm gonna place this one here and change the font to alright. This one and um let's add lounge here, right? So what I'm gonna do is uh place this one here. And make this one bigger. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one uppercase, change it to uppercase. Then use capital fonts, the tiny one. And once you do that, you can bold it. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my F10, or I'm gonna use my shape too. Sorry, sorry for the short cut actually. Then I'm gonna drag this one those right here. Increase the spacing and I'm um, gonna bring this one over here and take this one up a little bit. And this is basically what you're gonna have. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this um, rectangle to and draw a line here, give it a white color. All right, so this is basically what you're gonna have. So, the next thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna change this to Captain Book. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, Basically, give this one shift, shift this one, and uh, sorry, this is with this, and this is with this. All right, have the spot bar and um, comprise and grip, and this is basically what you're gonna have. You can basically leave this one here. All right, so this is basically what you're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna go up to the frame. Right click and select the this part here. I'm gonna bring in my rectangle to because this is too yet um, reddish. So I'm gonna add a black color here and um, use my transparency tool and fade out this part. I want this place to be paint dark. So I'm gonna decrease the opacity a bit and um, limp that that. And this is basically what you're gonna have. So click on finish. And this is what you're gonna have, guys. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this, bring in this um, time. Use my ellipse tool and draw this way. All right. So I'm going to give this one a font called agency. All right. So I'm going to change this to uppercase shift F3 on your keyboard. And um, I'm going to place this one just right here and leave that to that. So this is basically what you're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this IG, this Instagram handle. All right, use Control plus K to break it apart. Place this one here, give it black color. Place this one here, give it a black color. So they are all hidden behind. So we're gonna just uh, use Shift page up to bring it forward. So we're gonna decrease this and um, let's reduce this one. Let's reduce and we're gonna build this one here for reservation. All right, so we're gonna change the font to tack, that, tack, tack. That's something, 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 something. I don't know the name of the font anyway, but I've written it down for you guys, so bear with me. All right. So we're gonna just place this one here. So we're gonna replace this IG and uh, Instagram and um, Facebook with an icon. Instead of leaving it just the way it is, so right click and we're gonna go to import. I'm gonna go to where this is and um, don't worry guys, I'm gonna put the link of this in the down description for you, Facebook and IG. And um, I'm gonna just build this one here. So I'm gonna extract this this way, all right? So I'm gonna go to bitmap, select um, mode, black and white, and um, 
Click on OK, then go to Trace Bitmap and Outline Trace, Light Add, and wait for that to load. All right, guys, so we're waiting for it to load that one, guys. So click on OK, and then uh, you can basically delete this one, and uh, all right, delete this, delete this, and delete this. So do the same to this one, all right, same thing, this, and um, Trace Bitmap, Outline Trace, and wait for it to load. And um, this is what we're going to have, guys. So now you can delete this and um, ungroup, then delete this one. Now you can basically reduce this, bring this one down. All right, bring this over here, and uh, let's place this one here. So now you can delete this IG and uh, Facebook name that is there. So you can replace it with um, we want to have here. All right, now Facebook first. And you second, reduce just right there, place it just right there, and that is what you're gonna have, guys. That is what you're gonna have. That is what you're gonna have. If you made it to this point, I'm gonna give you an end book up, all right? So that is for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and give me the thumbs up. All right, guys. So this is basically what we're gonna have. So here, don't forget to drink responsibly, guys. Always remember to drink what? Responsibly. Always drink responsibility guys is very important all right so here we're gonna have the icon of drink responsibly over here is always on red color and the red color is always the deep red all right the rgb red all right this is the rgb red so come over here 18 plus change the fonts to this give it the white color Remove the stroke and place it just right here. And this is what we're going to have. So we're going to type drink responsibly. And um, use your shape to reduce the, the spacing. Place it just right here. And boom, guys. We're cool. All right. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in this. I'm going to add the depth to this. Um, to this background, all right. So I'm gonna right click and pop dip it in here. So right click again, scan it up and use the transparency tool. Then go to um, your mesh mode and change it to screen. Now you can reduce the opacity just right here. All right, you can see that cool effect on the background just there. Oh, just cool as it is. Now, like I told you, I will have uh, okay, but before then, I'm gonna add like a light over here in light clay over here so right click and import your light clay i'm gonna add that to you guys i'm gonna add that i think i've been giving you guys light clay huh i've been giving you guys so you should have it so this one i'm gonna just place in here right click and pour tape into this frame then go into the frame sorry this is a shortcut guys right click and select it is part tape first of all part clip right click select it is part clip then take it into the frame, place it just right here. And that's not cool, guys. It's not looking cool. So what you're gonna do is come to your transparency tool and use edit screen. Anyone that works with you nice or overlay. I don't like the overlay over thing. Let's try soft light. No, so screen is working for us. So we're gonna scale this one up and take it out. Don't allow this to show this the really shiny part to show. So just bring it in here and uh, leave that to that. And like I told you guys, I need a second option. The second option is uh, I'm going to do this just right here. I'm going to change this image to, to, to black and whites. Like there's this cool texture it has, right? Go to bitmap, right? Grayscale and leave that to that. So we're going to just um, do something like this. Actually, change this one to um, soft lights. Bring it in here so that it will have a reflection on the image. Just right there. All right, so this is basically what you want to have, guys. So I don't know which one is best for you, the A or the B. So let me know in the down description below. Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Let me know the one you want. Either the gray or the normal color, guys. So let me see those who love the normal color or the gray 
kernel. All right. So this is basically how we design this party flyer in Corel Draw. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe, guys. If you have any questions, drop me comments in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up and peace out. See you guys in my next video.